Did you know that people worldwide value the establishment of new protected areas higher than economic aims? Did you expect citizens to favor education over the enactment of stricter laws to protect nature areas in their country? Moreover, 61% of the citizens from developed countries would reduce their meat consumption in order to save biodiversity, while 53% of the citizens from developing countries think that intensifying agricultural production on existing farmland would be a better strategy. These are just three of the results derived from the many data that worldwide views on biodiversity collected on one single day all around the world. Uh, the whole idea behind worldwide views on biodiversity is to give ordinary citizens a voice in the global negotiations and discussions uh, on biodiversity. Populations, economies and the standard of living are growing worldwide. The demand for food, energy and a living space has doubled since the 1960s. In the same period, biodiversity declined by one-third. This loss is a global challenge. In 1992, delegates from 192 countries gathered at the Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro. A convention on biological diversity was signed. Its main goals are the conservation of biological diversity, the sustainable use of its components, and the fair and equitable sharing of the benefits from the use of genetic resources. In 2010, the parties to the convention agreed on a biodiversity strategy comprising 20 targets, the so-called Aichi Biodiversity Targets. In order to stop the decline in biodiversity, they had to be met by 2020. Worldwide Views supports this strategy by inviting people to state their views on which policy measures need to be introduced in order to stop the decline. On September 15, 2012, 3,000 citizens gathered at 34 sites in 25 countries for a day-long meeting about biodiversity. At each of these meetings, about 100 people engaged in deliberations and voted on the same set of questions. I'm very happy about the mood. My impression is that people are really discussing with each other and what I heard from feedback, um, they are saying they are learning um, something new. It's our responsibility and as a small community where I live, I think I've become very active. I was impressed that it took into consideration human needs. Ich glaube einfach, dieses Thema muss noch viel mehr an die Öffentlichkeit kommen. Yes, it affects me personally. Whatever changes that happen here, it's directly linked to my life. So I think it's a good opportunity to be as a citizen and be able to influence our politics. Worldwide Views on Biodiversity contributes to the biodiversity strategy by facilitating public participation in the decision-making process. It contributes to the objectives of the United Nations Decade on Biodiversity and helps to achieve the Aichi Biodiversity Target number one, that by 2020, at the latest, people are aware of the values of biodiversity and the steps they can take to conserve and use it sustainably. Good news for policymakers. 46% of the citizens at the Worldwide Views meeting said they had some knowledge about biodiversity before joining. An additional 19% already knew a lot, and most citizens are very concerned about the loss of biodiversity, 78% in developing and 63% in developed countries. A good basis for the successful introduction of strong policy measures. However, while half the people in developing countries think their country is seriously affected by biodiversity loss, only a quarter of the people in developed countries think that their country is. This may prove to be a challenge for policymakers in developed countries. As markets, technologies and environmental issues become increasingly global in scale, so does policy making. The distance between ordinary people and policy makers increases, thereby diminishing the citizens' sense of ownership in decision making. 
New initiatives like worldwide views on biodiversity can help to bridge this widening democratic gap, and there is a good reason to do so. So if you don't um, take a broad and open discussion with all these um, uh, ordinary people, uh, you, you, you will have a problem enforcing your decisions afterwards. Since 1986, the Danish Board of Technology has been a front-runner in the field of collaborative democracy, and they have designed and organized a number of innovative citizen consultation projects. In 2009, they organized the first ever global citizen consultation. The topic was global warming, and the method proved to be functional. In cooperation with the UN Secretariat for the Convention on Biological Diversity and the Danish Ministry of the Environment, the board decided to launch a new global citizen consultation in 2012, Worldwide Views on Biodiversity. The project has been coordinated by the Danish Board of Technology through financial support of the Government of Denmark and the Willem Foundation. The generous financial support of the Government of Japan has enabled worldwide coverage by supporting Worldwide Views meetings in 15 developing countries. National partners from the global network of partners called Worldwide Views Alliance were responsible for organizing citizen meetings in their countries. The Worldwide Views meetings follow the same procedure all over the world. Citizens deliberated in small groups on a set of questions carefully selected after the consultation of policymakers and interest groups worldwide. The day was divided into four thematic sessions, each introduced by an information video. This video highlighted the most important parts of the written background material sent to participants weeks in advance. At the end of each session, citizens voted individually. The results were instantly reported to the Worldwide Views website and are available for comparison. We can compare poor and rich countries, we can compare different continents, we can compare results from young people around the world to the older people around the world and so on. Worldwide, 93% of citizens think that incentives and subsidies leading to overfishing should be phased out. People in developed countries want this to happen quickly, while people in developing countries want to do it slowly. This tells policymakers to proceed with the phase out, but to do so with care. 97% of participants worldwide think that all countries should contribute to the protection of coral reefs. Interestingly, only 27% think that developed countries should pay the main part. 90% of participants worldwide support the creation of new marine protected areas in the high seas. Thus, there is public support for reaching a new international agreement. In order to collect trustworthy data, several standards had to be met. Citizens were selected with the aim of representing the demographic distribution in their country or region with regards to age, gender, occupation, education, and other criteria. In order to make results comparable, it was also important that all participants received the same information material. The information provided had to be neutral and balanced. A scientific advisory board helped to ensure this. Information videos in local language were produced and shown before each session at the citizen meetings. So that is another way also to, to help people who are not strong readers uh, understand the topic and what to do. Unlike opinion polls, the World Wide Views method provides respondents with balanced and scientifically based information. Citizens have the opportunity to deliberate for a full day with other citizens prior to rendering their judgment. It thus allows for more detailed questions and well-considered responses. The sample of citizens consulted in Worldwide Views is large and diverse enough to give a sense of general trends in national and international public opinion. Citizens are willing to share the cost of strong biodiversity policies, also in developing countries. 85% of the participants from these countries think that their countries should help pay for biodiversity protection, but that developed countries should pay the main part. 
There is general agreement that users of existing species collections should share the benefits derived from these resources with the countries of origin. Also, if they were collected before the Nagoya Protocol enters into force. However, support for this is not equally strong in developed and developing countries. There is also strong support worldwide for making users of genetic resources from the high seas pay a fee to global diversity in exchange for being allowed to use them. This points to a possible contribution to reaching the Aichi Target 20 of mobilizing financial resources. The votes were reported from each meeting via a newly developed web tool that binds the different meetings together and gives participants the experience of taking part in a global event. Also man hat sofort Einblick in die Daten, die andere Länder auch schon eingegeben haben, kann die mit den eigenen Ergebnissen vergleichen, kann eben schauen, wie in anderen Ländern die Ergebnisse sind, wo die Unterschiede sind. Und das macht die Sache eigentlich sehr spannend, weil es eben sehr, sehr schnell geht und die Technik funktioniert. As results came in throughout the day, in-depth comparisons and analyses could commence and a results report prepared. Worldwide Views is an advanced example of collaborative democracy and an attempt to close the democratic gap between citizens and policymakers in global governance. It offers policymakers unique insight into the views of citizens on issues they need to make decisions about and it provides them with information to inform future awareness raising activities. I'm, I'm just a tremendous uh, supporter of this process and I really didn't know what to expect when I came to participate but I was really pleased to see how the process engendered dialogue and I think can really help to build support for the biodiversity issue. Jeg, jeg tror på, at øh, netop sådan noget som FN og de der øh, overnationale instanser, øh, hvis de overhovedet skal have mulighed for at have forbindelse med befolkningen, så er det gennem sådan nogle metoder som det her. The national partners from the World Wide Views Alliance were responsible for presenting the results to their national policymakers prior to the COP11 meeting in Hyderabad in India in 2012. The results were also presented at the actual COP itself, giving high-level representatives from 193 nations the opportunity to receive reliable information on the views of people around the world. The project proved that citizen participation is indeed also possible and relevant on an international level and the initiative was very well received at COP11 by decision makers as well as international organizations and interest groups. Even when you have a meeting of 3,000 people, it's impossible to give opportunity for 3,000 people to be heard. By here, through this process, that's, that's very much happening. When we know that the citizens are behind us, then we can take very difficult decisions. I think that's, that's, that's very important because governments react to demands from the public. Mm. If the governments don't, don't see uh, that there is a big demand from the public, they, they, they tend to uh, uh, regard this as a secondary issue. Several key policymakers express their wish to make worldwide views citizen consultations on a regular basis, leading to coming COPs on biodiversity, which take place every second year. The decision was included in the COP decision text to encourage parties, relevant organizations and stakeholders to support and contribute to communication initiatives such as the worldwide views on biodiversity. If you look across the votes from all participating countries, it is fair to conclude that public support for taking further political action in order to stop the decline in biodiversity is strong. The citizens express great concern over the loss of biodiversity and this concern is clearly reflected in their strong support for protective measures at the expense of economic gains. They are willing to share costs for biodiversity protection and they support the expansion of international regulation of biodiversity 
and thus the extent to which burdens and benefits are shared. Worldwide views on biodiversity is the beginning of a structured and continued dialogue between citizens and policymakers about how to deal with the decline in biodiversity. It is essential to continue this dialogue in order to make policies that are informed by and in tune with the citizens' views and thereby securing greater ownership to decisions made and increasing the likeliness of their successful implementation. The Global Network of Partners, Worldwide Views Alliance, now has the capacity to facilitate this dialogue and the ambition to do so.